Good morning. I am Kevin Price. Delighted to be with you. Going to spend some time talking to you about you and your business. And I have a lot to cover on today's program. So I'm going to get straight to it. You know, we hear a lot about uh, crowdfunding and crowdfunding platforms. And and uh, wanted to talk about one that I just recently became aware of called Mindful Crowd. And uh, we're going to talk to uh, the CEO of that, uh, Stuart Ruddock. But, Stuart, I've been hearing noises as we began. Is there some kind of background noise there that uh, needs to be isolated? Uh, is that better now? Okay, much better. Thank you. Yeah. Stuart, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, Mindful Crowd. Mindful Crowd, first of all, is an investment platform. It's a crowdfunding platform for accredited investors. That is an extension of our investment platform called Mindful Investors Venture Fund, which is an institutional venture fund. And we invest in the most innovative technologies available today that are primarily innovations for health that are possibly impacting our lives, our health, and our planet. We look at companies that are in healthcare, healthy environment, and healthy lifestyle. And we've got this group of, I'll call it most of these millennial entrepreneurs that have a vision for the future of what are going to be the ways that we can create the most incredible companies that will possibly impact our lives. And we're bringing select companies to investors on the Mindful Crowd platform, allowing them to join us in the investment where we've already raised tens of millions of dollars and allowing individual investors to invest <coughs> as little as $10,000 joining us with the same terms, the same preferences, the same valuation. Mm-hmm. as we've just done with these institutional funding. Right. So when did you get launched? We launched in June of this year. And you've already done millions? We did our first company in June. We raised uh, just over, uh, let's see, just under a half a million dollars for our first company. And our second company we are launching uh, today called Flow Water. We're looking to raise uh, a minimum of a half a million dollars for this company. And uh, we'll have a company, probably every um, month or two, we'll have a new company we'll be fundraising for. So how many companies have you raised uh, money for so far? On the Mindful Crowd, we just raised one company so far as we launched, as I said, just a couple months ago. Okay. Um, you mentioned the fact that, uh, so you, you said it had a real appeal or a focus on millennials. Are these the investors? Or are these the ones bringing businesses? Talk about the role of the millennial on this. So primarily the, invest, the uh, investors are a, a wide range of investors that are any, you know, anyone that is an accredited investor and age is not a, a factor. And the entrepreneurs are the millennials. So living in the Bay Area where I am in Silicon Valley, there's an extraordinary explosion of entrepreneurship. And we are seeing all these communities of millennial entrepreneurs that are coming from all of the incubators and accelerators from Y Combinator and 500 startups to just individuals that are seeking to say, I want to build this business for the future. And what? what's fantastic and, and gives me great optimism for our future is that many of these millennials are saying, I want to create a business that's aligned with my own personal values, something that I feel that's really important, that's a personal agenda that I've got, and, and I call it, it's a legacy. Mm-hmm. These millennials are looking at what is the legacy that they are going to create from the company that they build. How can they look back and say, I'm so proud of what I've done? And how can they look back and say, I've affected you know, the community of, of people in which I'm involved, my future children and future generations with this company? And actually, we, we've got a whole term for this. We call it legacy instigators that are instigating change for the future. Yeah. So um, talk a, l- a little bit about your organization. You, you are in the Silicon Valley uh, area, correct? Correct. What, what exactly, what, what part of uh, that, the area are you in? Well, I am duly based in the city, San Francisco, uh-huh. and, and in Marin County. Okay. And uh, talk a little bit about uh, the number of people that are in your organization that work with you. So um, our internal uh, operations that are, that are based in uh, San Francisco is myself and Seema, who um, is my COO. And we have a partner that's in New York City as well that helps us with our East Coast companies that we're looking at. And then we've got a unique structure. We've got over 30 advisors and mentors that are part of our platform 
that uh, many of them are in the Bay Area, but all over the country, that had so main expertise in the areas of health, health care, healthy environment, uh, consumer product companies, genomics, uh, the biotech arena, and um, help us from everything from uh, referring and sourcing investments for us to helping us do due diligence on the companies and helping us, once we make an investment, take an active role with us, possibly as a board member, an advisor, or maybe even take an operational role with the company. Talk a little bit about the uh, verticals you'll be operating in and have been. So um, first, you know, I'll, I'll just mention about this one company, Water. Water is one of our most precious resources. And particularly being in California, where we've got water challenges and shortages of water, forest fires, which I'm sure you've heard about, water from a drinking basis is something that we feel that is really critical. And one of our companies that we're funding right now called Slow Water is a water-filling refill station and purification machine that will be the future way that we'll be drinking water that is purified and removing contaminants from water. But most importantly, a lot of the water that people are drinking today, whether it's from plastic bottles, which we all know is environmentally unsound and sometimes even unhealthy because of the leaching of what, uh, the plastic from water, you've got the second vehicle of just water coolers, which are either just providing water that's not purified at all or water coolers that are um, sort of the old-style dumb coolers that don't have any technology. And then you've got the, once again, unsound, unhygienic delivery of five-gallon jugs. And Slow Water is uh, disrupting this whole process by creating a machine that just taps into your water supply that's municipal water and then takes that water, purifies it. But most importantly, Kevin, it adds back in nutrients and essential minerals such as oxygenation and alkalinity to raise the pH level of water. So water is, once again, a functional beverage that's really healthy for you and truly hydrating you. So that's one company we're very excited about. Yeah, very good, very good. Talk a little bit about um, some of the other deals that you immediately have uh, on the radar screen. Your goal, I think you said, is one every month or every couple of months. So what, what else yeah. do you have in the pipeline? Um, well, well, I would like to talk about one of the companies we just funded that I think people will, will be quite interested to know. It's called Interaxon Muse. And it's a company that's a brain fitness uh, product and tool It's like a Fitbit for the brain, and it's a medical-grade EEG device that is in an eloquent headband that you put on your head. It's very lightweight, and it reads through galvanic skin response your brain waves. And so when you have this on, it shows you your beta, alpha, theta, and delta waves. And it shows you, of course, what that means of when your brain is that really busy, crazy monkey brain that's just incredibly active, to when your brain is relatively calm, to when your brain is in that zone, in that zen state, and where you are the Buddha. Tell me uh, real it, quickly, we got about 30 seconds left, the okay. science behind that, because to listen to you, it sounds like you may be suffering from monkey brain even, even as we speak. So tell, <laughs> talk, a little bit, talk a little bit about the science behind that. Uh, the science behind that, first of all, is nine years in development. They've got um, over 16 patents and, and uh, IT that's issued on the technology. And it's actually EEG is, is already a proven technology. And mostly what they've done is they've taken the technology and they've brought it up to today's world to be able to integrate it into the headband and then an app on your phone so you can have it and use it at mobily anytime. So the science is, is deeply, deeply proven. All right. Stuart Ruddick is uh, with Mindful Crowd. Mindful, that's F U L L, by the way, crowd.com. Thanks so much, Stuart. Thank you, Kevin. All right. When we come back, much more for you after this on this program. 